Welcome to today's video about the greenhouse effect of methane. Methane is the second most abundant anthropogenic greenhouse gas after carbon dioxide. It accounts for over 20% of global emissions and is 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide in trapping heat in the atmosphere. Over the last two centuries, methane concentrations have more than doubled in the atmosphere due to human-related activities. Methane is a powerful greenhouse gas, but it is short-lived compared to carbon dioxide. The main anthropogenic emissions of methane include landfills, oil and natural gas systems, agricultural activities, coal mining, and wastewater treatment, to name a few. This experiment will focus on showing the greenhouse effect of methane in comparison to carbon dioxide. So for this experiment, the materials you need are a soda stream machine, four identical jars with lids and holes in them. You can use pasta jars and drill holes into the lids. Make sure they're identical though. Four thermometers, two straws or bamboo skewers, blue tack, an elastic band, and a marker with masking tape or labels. Once you have collected all your materials, you are ready to begin the experiment. Methane is a highly flammable gas, so make sure you ask an adult for help and ensure the area you're working in is well ventilated. Your first step is to label the jars with masking tape and the marker as shown here. You then need to insert the thermometer through the holds of the lids and secure with blue tack. Place these lids on their respective jars, except the control. For the control, using the straws or bamboo stick and securing with blue tack and the rubber band, place the thermometer on top as shown here. Then connect your bottle to your soda stream machine, fill with carbon dioxide, and place the carbon dioxide into your carbon dioxide jar and securely close it. Then grab your methane jar and fill it up with methane. You can use the gas taps in the lab and then remember to securely close it and then place all jars in the sun. Record the temperature in each jar after five minute intervals for 30 minutes. You can see I've collated all my data into a table here and then I've presented it in a graph. You can see here that methane is significantly hotter than all of our jars and carbon dioxide too. This demonstrates that methane has a higher warming potential than carbon dioxide. This video was produced as a collaboration between the Macquarie University School of Natural Sciences and Australian Earth Science Education. For more videos, blogs and activities, visit our website at osearthand.com.au